we're asked to write the expression negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 9 in the form a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So we're going from this form on the left to the form on the right. To do this, we'll follow these four steps. So step one, if a, the coefficient of x squared, or the degree two term doesn't equal one, we'll factor a from the x squared and x terms. Notice how here, a is equal to negative two, and therefore we want to factor negative two from negative two x squared plus 12x. So that would give us negative two times the quantity x squared, and then we'd have minus six x. Now the next step is to form a perfect square trinomial using these two terms. So we'll be adding a constant here, and then we still have minus nine, and then notice how whatever constant we add here, it's really going to be negative two times that constant, which we know is positive, and negative times a positive is negative, so to undo this negative, we'll have to add a constant here. So again, on step two, we want to form a perfect square trinomial, which would be inside these parentheses. To do this, we're going to add b divided by two squared, where b is the coefficient of the degree one term, or in this case, the coefficient of x. So notice here, the coefficient of x inside the parentheses is negative six. So we're going to add negative six divided by two squared, which would be negative three squared, which equals positive nine. So we're going to add nine here, and then step three, we're gonna undo the value added to form the perfect square trinomial. So notice by adding nine here, when we distribute, negative two times nine is negative 18. So by adding this nine here, we really added negative 18. To undo negative 18, we must add 18 here. So it's important to recognize that because of the distribution, we're not just undoing this plus nine, we're actually undoing negative 18. And our last step is to factor the perfect square trinomial, which would be inside the parentheses here. And a perfect square trinomial in this form is always going to factor into the quantity x plus b divided by two squared, where in our case, notice b divided by two is negative three, so we are going to have the quantity x minus three squared. Let's also show some work. So we'll write this as negative two, We'll show how to factor into two binomial factors. And then notice here we have negative nine plus 18, which would be positive nine or plus nine. So factoring like we normally would, we'd have x and x. The factors of positive nine that add to negative six are negative three and negative three, which is why we have a perfect square trinomial. We have minus three here and minus three here. So as a perfect square, we have negative two times the quantity x minus three squared plus nine. We now have the given quadratic expression in the form a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Notice where a would be equal to negative two, h would be positive three, and k would be positive nine. I hope you found this helpful.